What seemingly innocent action gives off a sexual impressions? Looking someone up and down by accident. Eyes wander sometimes. Also licking your lips, that always looks suspect. Seeing a guy take off a sweater by reaching over his head and pulling it off. I have no idea how guys are able to undress this way but it can definitely be a turn on. If you have dry lips and subsequently end up making facial expressions moving around your lips or licking your lips or start putting on chapstick and whatnot. When a beautiful woman is facing forward and looks back over her shoulder at you. HNNG. Calling someone daddy. The internet has ruined it forever. When a girl slowly ties her hair back and leaves her fringe or bangs hanging in the front. Or when she tucks her hair behind her ears on one side, double plus if she is wearing some beautiful teardrop earring or something like that. Rule 34 dictates that literally everything is the only acceptable answer to this question. I as a guy would bite my food slowly to not make a mess and would find women staring at me. I am not sure what it was but I now wolf down my food without making a mess like that Nazi general eating strudel in inglorious bastard. I get intensely distracted when guys run their hands through their hair, especially if it's long enough that the fingers briefly get lost in it, or the hair ends up in a vastly different direction at the end of the motion. I have a few otherwise, sexually, uninteresting co-workers that really like touching their hair, running their hands through it messing it up slowly in a meeting as they're thinking through difficult problems, and by the end of the meeting I'm looking at them like they are fuck meat and I'm here for the buffet. For whatever reason, if the hair is wet from the shower or with sweat from exercise, it's ten times hotter. And then there's the old run hand through hair while leaning back to stretch and exposing some subtle arm muscle routine. Hooey. Shit gets me going. The sound of a belt buckle flopping undone, but that's actually fairly sexual. Button fly jeans, because as soon as I notice the buttons, I'm always checking out guys' packages. I want to be the one that gets to slowly undo them in a massive tease for both of us. Tight black pants on guys with nice thighs or asses. I can't look away. So, what I'm saying is that while I'm fairly kinky, it's the little things that really suck me in. Ha. Huh. When I was 15 I made an animation for my friend's dad's drilling company. It showed a drill rod rotating in and out of a dirt hole which had a patch of grass around it. My mother saw it and told me to rethink it. Adjusting your stockings. When I was younger, getting a hug from a girl would have me fantasizing about our future together for months. Adjusting your belt. Especially going from one notch to another. Telling someone they smell good. Stretching. Old GF of my would stretch every morning when she woke up. Before she got out of bed she would just reach for the ceiling. The arch in her back and the view depending on what she was wearing always started my day off well. Edit, old as in past girlfriend goddammit. I was working from home one night and whilst doing yoga, my wife overstretched and said without hesitation fuck my ass. Unfortunately what she really meant was fuck, my ass. That's an important life lesson right there, before you grab her and ram her, be sure to check the grammar. The look on your face when you're about to sneeze. Sneezes are basically face orgasms tbf. Bending over to pick something up. Biting the lower lip. Eating a lollipop. Or candy cane. Sometimes even a popsicle or ice cream cone. Apparently rolling my sleeves up. I just didn't want my dress shirt to get dirty at lunch. Apparently playing with my shoe and letting it hang off my foot is sexual. At least that's what some random dude told me at a bar once p.s. Thank you for all the feet related subreddit links, and new terms I didn't know existed, but please stop. I'm not looking for anything, I just thought I'd share a story. Laughing at dumb jokes when no one else does. Assume you must be into them. Had a girl tell me she wanted to meet up for our first date. She had a learning disability and it was not innuendo. I'm not gay, but once I met this dude that is and he is very handsome, and a lot of girls are into him. When you talk to him he always actively listens and nods and smiles and you actually feel like he wants to talk to you. I found it hot and a lot of others did too edit, no homo. Gals tying their hair back. In middle school, my day planner had a spiral ring for binding. I always put my pen into the spiral ring in order to keep them together when I packed it into my backpack at the end of class. 
It just seemed like a rational, organized thing to do. A girl complained that this looked too sexual. I no longer eat ice creams in public thanks to multiple people telling me that I eat them seductively. Trying to make a friend of the opposite sex once you're over 25. It's so hard to just make friends without it seeming like you're trying to get with them. Source, a friend of mine wanted to befriend a girl I worked with, he wasn't attracted to her he just thought she was cool. He asked her to hang out, she did, she crashed at his, then later on told me she thought it was weird because he didn't try anything. But, he really did just want to be friends. And probably countless other sources. But. Yeah. When a co-worker typos yes sire instead of yes sir, then jokes about it. Never realized it would elicit that reaction. Okay sir I can see as being hot. Sire? The sentence I don't want to go home yet I don't know why, I don't know if I'm a crazy outlier or this is some double speak I never actively learned but every woman I've taken home from a club, bar, or party has said this sentence shortly before, well, going home with me. Now it feels strange to hear it from people I'm most definitely not in a sexual relationship with. Pattern recognition is a bitch. I have braces RN and I have a habit of touching them with my tongue so and once in school someone wanted to tell me something so I turned around and looked at her while fiddling with my braces and she said you're not sexy you know and sometimes I don't even realize I'm fiddling with my braces so I got pretty confused. I had an unreasonably pretty girl at work reply yes sir when I asked if that was everything for her. And then yes sir when I asked if she had ID. I thought it was weird so I looked up and she was looking me dead in the ISO. That. Still think about it sometimes. Edit, no neither of us are from the southern US. Eating a banana in one bite. When someone is told to do something and they say make me. Basic manners. My partner often scores free extra drinks when we are at gigs because he will use please and thank you and ask the people serving them how their night is going. I do all of those things too, but must rate lower on the charisma and beauty scales, so I have learned that if it's my round, the most profitable move is to send him to the bar with my bank card. I used to teach the martial arts in a small town and had a bunch of teenage students. Those students often brought in friends to try out a class or two and that's how I got most of the students over time. A consequence of this is that I ended up teaching one class worth of lessons to hundreds of kids over the years. So, one day I'm in a local grocery store I see this high school girl that I'm sure I recognize. I'm wondering if she's friends with so and so or did she come in with this other kid, etc. And as I'm looking at her thinking hard about where I recognize her from I notice her father staring daggers at me. And I realize that he thought that I, a man in my late 20s at the time, was leering at his teenage daughter. There's not much you can do in those kind of moments, so I just paid for my stuff and left. Looking up while going up the stairs, especially if someone else is going up in front of you. When a guy is putting the car in reverse and puts his arm around the passenger seat to look behind him. Taking your phone to the bathroom. My family always thinks I'm going to masturbate. Being nice to people. Licking your lips, I like to do this when they are dry but. What if someone see this and think something unusual? I was at my crush house and we were making brownies. And some of the chocolate got on her fingers so she sucked it off, I was blushing and staring at her until she said stop being so dirty minded. I broke eye contact with her and moved on with the baking. A woman using rope to do anything. It triggers things in me. Saying a guy is a cutie pie. I appreciate a cutie pie whether I'm attracted to that sex or not. Owning a Lego Death Star. For attractive women I guess just existing would be suffice. Kissing the homies goodnight. Telling someone their fly is undone. When someone says they have dry lips so you lick them to help them out. Trying to lick and suck the inside of your ice cream cone because you like to eat it all in the end. Smiling and having breasts. When a dude does that thing with the jaw or teeth and it has that little muscle pop in and out, English isn't my first language here, God knows what I'm describing, anyways, dunno what's stressing out the dude but, keep on doing that, please. Told in another thread, but this happened a few weeks ago. Girlfriend's friend who I hung out with would hug me goodbye. Then one day she just started hanging on, hugging way too close and way too long. 
A hug you are not expecting like that can definitely be sexual. And yeah, not long after she told me she had those feelings about me. Knew something was up the first time she did it. I'm a guy, so apparently every time I try to do anything with a girl it's sexual, because I can't just be friends with women. And whenever I do something remotely affectionate with my guy friends, I'm gay, and it becomes sexual. Genuinely listening slash responding. I can find you interesting without wanting to get in your pants. No lollygagging. Applying lotion vigorously to your penis on the train commute. They get ashy sometimes okay. Edit, thanks for the awards. Being attractive and playing a stringed instrument like cello or violin. When my husband cuddles me and I can feel his dick pressed against my ass. Smiling. Smile at a guy and he thinks you're flirting. Moaning. There was a time when this wasn't a necessarily sexual thing. Wearing skirts. A lot of people just staring at me even in the streets. Yesterday my dad told me that I need to shave my beard at least. When people make a fist to cough into, that second when they have their mouths open, I always imagine them sucking dick, always. And it doesn't matter who, everyone.